in his capacity as special envoy of the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tabboun, Foreign Affairs Minister and National Community Abroad, Ramdan Lamamara, is on a working visit to the Democratic Republic of Congo. I am honored to be back in Kinshasa, and I look forward to the opportunity that I have to convey the President Abdel Majid Tabboun's message to His Excellency Felix Chisekidi. We have on this occasion the opportunity to take stock of all the questions of common interest affecting the African continent, as well as to examine prospects of relaunching and intensifying relations and cooperation between the two countries. And furthermore, recording more progress and economic integration, achieving the objectives of the Pan-African Free Trade Area, as well as discussing peace and security issues in our continent. The Algerian head of diplomacy was received by his Congolese counterpart Christophe Lutundula Apala. Discussions between the two parties focused on strengthening bilateral relations and regional and continental issues of common interest. The consolidation and the strengthening of a state of law and governance, reinforcing justice, freedoms, dialogue and consultation and building a free and responsible civil society, in addition to freedom assembly, peaceful demonstration and freedom of the press, are among the main concerns included in the government's action plan, which provides for the revision of a set of legislative texts tending to ensure citizens a full exercise of their rights and freedoms. It is a program that touches the everyday life of the Algerian citizen with a programmatic vision. This action plan provides for the revision of a set of laws and legislative texts relating to the work of the associative movement and the activity of the political parties in application of what has been enshrined in constitution. Freedom of the press and the media, an important component in the program of the Prime Minister Ayman bin Abdurrahman, a program that aims at guaranteeing freedom of expression with respect for ethics, an exercise which will also guarantee the emergence of a dynamic and committed civil society. It is prime time for laws that guarantee the right to information for all citizens. It will allow the media to express and inform freely. In the same way, they will protect citizens from the spread of false information or fake news on social media. They will also protect the state symbols against any attack. The government's action plan further emphasizes the importance of promoting and protecting the components of national identity, memory, religion and culture. Through its plan, the government seeks to achieve good governance based on the principles of transparency and freedom of expression and movement in order to preserve national unity and break away from the practices of the past tarnished in particular by corruption. Civil society between associations, collectives, volunteers and anonymous donors stood out during the difficult times experienced by the country recently, namely the forest fires, through a remarkable mobilization for weeks on end. Committed to Muslim scouts, Anis is a living example of what youth and spirit of citizenship can provide. We are continuously on the ground volunteering because we believe in our cause and that Algeria must be built with a contribution of all, especially the youth. All the constitutional facilitations, including the government action plan, have been put in place for the benefit of young people. In the November 1st constitutional amendment, the term civil society was mentioned six times in the document and in the preamble for the first time in the history of the country which confirms the commitment of the high authorities to grant it its natural and deserved place. In anticipation for the local elections of November 27th, the revisions of the electoral lists continue in several provinces of the country until September 15th. In the province of Constantine, many people presented themselves to the Communal Commission Office for the revision of the electoral lists of Ouled Rahmoun, these young people, full of hope, are aware of their rights and their duties. They came to register and have their say in the next local elections. In the province of Oran, citizens rushed to their communal commission to register and receive their voting cards to participate in the construction of the new Algeria. Likewise, in the province of Mustaghanem, many people came to register themselves in the electoral lists aiming to participate in the next local elections to create the expected change in the country. The same atmosphere was witnessed in Adrar province, where the inhabitants of the region of Zawiyat Kunta have a lot of hope for these elections, 
and for the development of their region. The revision of the electoral list also continues through the various municipal commission offices of Mila province, an operation characterized by a strong participation of young people anticipating the change in the country. 285 new confirmed cases of coronavirus and 20 new deaths were recorded during the last 24 hours in Algeria, while 235 people have recovered and have been discharged. This was announced by the Ministry of Health, Population and Hospital Reform. The Health Ministry announced on Friday the extension of the national inoculation campaign against COVID-19, launched last week until the end of the year with a view to achieving a vaccination rate of 70% of the population. It also reported more than 1 million people immunized during the period extended from the 4th to the 9th of September, calling on all the citizens to join this national campaign to comply with the guidelines of the health authorities while respecting the preventive measures before and after vaccination to avoid any complications and the spread of more variants.